Later, we see another segment with Jay. He's in the locker room. Paul is continuing his manipulation, of course, on behalf of Roman. Paul tells Jay that uh, I need your suit measurements and your passport because you're going to be flying on Roman's private plane to Money in the Bank. And he says that they will be having a triple celebration next week for one, the return of Roman to SmackDown, which is like so ridiculous that we have to do this every it's single awesome. week. I love it. It's, it's so Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Um, and then for Jay winning the U.S. title and for publicly acknowledging Jay as the next tribal chief. But then Jay has another twist to the story and he says, you know, that that sounds great, blah, blah, blah. But if I return to the bloodline, you won't be there. And I was like, OK, because we hadn't considered that aspect. Like we've talked about how they might st- break up the the bloodline and who might be the one or w- how it would happen but we kind of never considered the idea of Paul leaving so I find it interesting because that's going to be a weird thing for Roman to have to decide as well because obviously Paul is not his blood and no. he emphasizes yeah, right. family so much and it's like okay so if Jay agrees to come back to the bloodline only if Paul is not there. It's like, then what will Roman decide? Because if he says, let's say Jay says, I'll come back as long as Paul is gone. Right. Let's say Roman then goes through that whole process, fires the wise man. And then Jay was like, LOL, just kidding. Like there's no going back from that moment for Roman. Paul is going to be pissed. He's going to be hurt. He's going to move on and do something else.